In the sewing room we never throw away anything, we always keep all the little scraps, even if that means we have to watch our steps. But the good thing is that when it comes to little projects, we can make really useful things with these scraps. And I have all these little scraps of plastic, it's um, really a tablecloth, a plastic tablecloth and it's see-through which is really nice and I've used it loads, I bought two uh, little rolls at 3 euros ages ago and I've sewn so much with them uh, the covers for the sewing machines, beach bags, uh, bags for my son's toys you can make loads of different stuff with them and I leave you a link here in the description box down below and I think I can make stuff for the beach today And apart from the plastic, I'm going to be using some bias tape. In my case, I'm going to use it in black. You can use any color you have, but I think I have just enough. And a bit of Velcro with the one that has glue on the other side. And I want to get some of these nap machines, uh, the colorful ones, because I think for this project are really useful. The three periods are going to be really easy to make and with any modification on size or shape you can use them for different things. So stay until the end and tell me what will you use them for. The first project is going to be a cover for the sunglasses, so I'm going to just trace around my sunglasses a square that then I'm going to fold. But before that, because everything goes uh, hemmed with the bias tape, I need the top open and I want to hem it as well, because the plastic is not nice to touch and it's nicer with the bias tape. So for that I'm going to hem the top first with bias tape so I can then fold it and hem all around it again. It's really easy to do, you can do it in 5 minutes and the result is really good. I love how it turned out and I love that it's see-through and that's one of the advantages of see-through stuff, that you can see it of course, but it's ideal when you have a big bag, like a beach bag, in which everyone, loads of people come to look for stuff, so having see-through stuff is ideal because no one uh, has to ask for anything and they can just see it once it's open. So on to the next one! Sometimes when you're at the beach or at the swimming pool you want to check your phone and see what's going on or take a picture but your hands are always on mine, are always greasy because of the cream and then is the sand and everything is so sticky and messy. So I thought to make a cover for the phone. And a little disclaimer here, of course, I know you know, but just in case, because we're using some plastic, it doesn't mean it's going to be waterproof, so don't you put your phone in the water, please. I'm not responsible. This is going to be really simple, so I'm going with my phone in my hand, I'm going to trace around it and cut two pieces, two rectangles of uh, plastic that I'm going to hem on top and then all around. With the sunglasses I try and I did fold the the edge of the of, of the bias tape but it's loads of uh, layers of fabric and the machine suffers a little bit so I don't want to do that again. <laughs> so I'm going to just cut the bias tape on the sides and then hem it and make a really good stitch with a zigzag stitch and at one, only at one. So it's really close together and it hems all around that area and it looks really strong. I 
and this is my little cover for my phone I tried before I made it just in case and it works really well of course you don't have the tactile uh, button but uh, I can easily press my code and then I can go into any page that's my Instagram and scroll up and down and do different things so that's quite good I also tried it with my husband's phone and it worked as well and I'm quite happy with it and that's the second advantage ah oh, my son's picture as wallpaper oh and they change so cute so uh, that's the second advantage of using plastic that nothing gets messy because of your hands being sticky on to the next one and of course you go to the beach and what happens that at the end of the day maybe you're going for a walk and you have your wet bikini to put in there maybe it's even going to stay in the car for a few hours and that's going to get everything wet and smelly so not anymore because we're going to do a cover for it kind of an envelope thing so like for the phone I'm going to need two pieces of fabric then I need to see how big bikinis are or swimming costumes and then uh, cut two squares but the second square one of the squares is going to be a square and the second one is going to be the envelope thing so it's going to have like a little roof it's going to be like a house and I'm going to round the bottom edges as one well. So the first step is hemming the top of the square one, the one that goes in the front. So I can then put them together and hem all around the little top of the house, the roof, and around the edges of the other one as well, all together. And because the one with the phone uh, work really well with the zigzag stitch, I'm going to do the same. I'm not going to be folding because it's so many pieces of fabric. The plastic, the bias tape, folding the bias tape is too much for the machine and it suffers a little bit. So I'm just going to cut and then zigzag stitch on top. And because this worked really well with my son's uh, bristle block bag I made him, uh, I'm going to use the same. It's going to be just a little square and it's just sticking it there. So it's quite handy. Thank you. 
and this is my little bag my little envelope for wet uh, costumes i think it's ideal and with the velcro it makes it really easy to use and handy even for the little ones in your family so you just stick your bikini your swimming costume in there and you close it and that's it you don't have to be worrying about everything getting wet or anything like that so it's ideal i think i'll be making a few of this And I think that with all of this, we are more than ready for summer season. I think they look ideal and they have so many advantages. You see them when you open your beach bag, they don't get sticky and everything doesn't get wet once your swimming costume is. So I think I'll be making a few of these. So let me know down in the comments what you thought, if you think they're ideal, if you're going to make a few. I've made so much stuff out of this plastic. I've made a cover to take dresses places. I've made the covers for the sewing machine, beach bags, uh, an organizer for the beach bag, um, bags for my son's toys, loads of different stuff that I leave you a link for in the description box down below. And I leave you here a link at the end of the video to other projects I've made with scraps, a sleeping mask, a, a cover, Mm, loads of different things that you can I think they are useful and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already I upload twice a week and that way you don't miss anything we do loads of different stuff bye